Question number seven, Julianne Genta. Tana koe, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, has the government reviewed its highway building program in light of the warning in the briefing to the incoming minister that there will be a $4.9 billion funding shortfall if oil prices remain high and economic growth remains low? If not, why not? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Speaker. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because I read all of the BIM, which makes, which makes it clear that if oil price continues to rise, the $4.9 billion shortfall in forecast expenditure might occur in the period 2021 to 2030. It further says that this scenario is in the nature of a risk rather than a certainty. Mr Speaker, if we reviewed our roading policy every time there's a fluctuation in oil price or someone comments on our growth rate, we would do nothing. Julianne Chanter. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary. If he believes that oil prices are cyclical or fluctuating and not rapidly trending upwards, when will oil prices fall back below $68 a barrel, which was the 2012 oil price forecast when the government first budgeted for the RONs? And so far as the Minister of Transport has any responsibility for oil prices, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Well, Mr Speaker, if I knew that, I wouldn't be in this parliament, that's for sure. <laughs> Julianne Janta. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Has he seen the Crown financial statements today that show road tax revenue is 66 million below forecast this year? And will the government be pumping in more money from ordinary Crown revenue into his motorway projects to make up the shortfall? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, yes and no, because the funding for roading projects comes from the road users. Julianne Janta. Has the government determined conditions under which it would not be fiscally responsible to continue to prioritise the RONs, and if so, what are they? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, one of the interesting things in the BIM is the prediction that there will be more alternative fuel vehicles on the road in the period during which the shortfall may occur. Mr Speaker, what we do notice is that those alternate fuel vehicles will still need roads. So we'll still be building them. Julianne Janta. Supplementary. Don't road users deserve their money to be spent on transport projects that will give the most bang for their buck, that are well supported by evidence, and that protect all New Zealanders from rising oil prices? Yeah, the Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, every bit of evidence I've seen suggests that New Zealanders like the roading projects. Question number eight, Charles Chevelle.